Hey guys, what's up? So, um, hey, it's Shane. Yeah. Okay. Um, if you've been following me in uh, real life, um, you'll know that I've really gotten into Marvel vs. Capcom 3. I just want it. I just want to let everyone know right now, I think that game is freaking awesome. It's like, I just, it's like Street Fighter, but it's not. It feels like Street Fighter, but the fighting is like so much more rapid and fast paced. It's so, so much better. But I really love the game. Um, so what I'm going to show you right now is um, I'm going to go into Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And um, I'm going to show you probably the coolest hyper combo in the game it's like it's i'm just want to say it's not the best hyper combo in the game but personally i think it's the best not in terms of strength or ability to combo into other moves but i just think that it's the coolest overall and it belongs to one of the best marvel characters i know deadpool so let's take a look at it shall we okay so we're in marvel versus capcom 3 now and uh I'm just gonna go into training mode so I can show you guys this awesome hyper combo. Boop. Okay. Now, I just wanna show you guys my like main team. The team that I think is the best that I use pretty much all the time. Spider-Man, Deadpool, and Zero. Those are my three main dudes and I use them a hell of a lot of the time. And we're just going to pick a random team for the opponents. Uh, what is this, training? Very easy, infinite, yes. Alrighty. Oh god, Modoc looks like a freaking transvestite. Oh, it's creepy. Look at him, he's got lipstick and like freaking eyeliner on. That's disgusting. Okay, so... Are you doing anything? No, you're not doing anything. Okay, that's good. All right, so. So this is my team. I'm just gonna switch to Deadpool because he's the one I want to show you. Um, before I get into his awesome-tastic hyper combo, I just want to give you the basic of what hyper combos are. So here we are in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. You know, I'm doing my thing, doing shit like this. Okay, so. Okay, so I got three people. You might notice at the bottom, there's a little bar that says level five max. You're probably thinking if you haven't played a Marvel vs. Capcom game, Shane, what is that bar? What is its purpose? Well, every character in the game has special moves. Every single character in the game has special moves, like Deadpool, for example. Let's say one of his special moves pulls out his guns and starts shooting, and he can do that at multiple levels. So that's one of his special moves. Another one of his special moves is Katanarama. See? He slashes him with his katana and then just bashes them into the wall. So every character has special moves like that. Not exactly like that, but every character has special moves. Now, that bar serves a purpose because the more you attack your opponent, the more it... Well, the more you attack your opponent and the more you take damage, that bar starts to fill up. And once it fills up once, you can do a hyper combo. Most of the time, hyper combos are more um, powerful, flashy versions of special moves that characters already have. Like, take Deadpool. Let's see, his normal... Let's take uh, Trigger Happy, which is his guns move. See? He just pulls out his guns and starts shooting. That's his normal special. That's his normal version of that move. Now, the hyper combo version of that move is more powerful. Now, see... And once you do a hyper combo, it takes away one level from the hyper combo gauge. So watch. Trigger happy. Hyper combo version of trigger happy. Did you see that? Did you see that? Now, normal trigger happy only hit them ten times and it was one small burst. Trigger happy hyper combo version hit them 40 times and was way more powerful than the normal trigger happy. And most of the time... Characters' hyper combos are just, you know, beefed up versions of their normal special moves. Like, take Quick Work, for example, which is this across the screen slashing. It has a hyper combo version, too. Cutting time. 
See, that was pretty much the same thing, where he darted across the screen and slashed it on a Tarasu, except it was more powerful and it had a lot more ant flashy animations to it. And your, your opponent here can use hyper combos too, which will take up their hyper combo gauges. Now you can have up to five levels in the hyper combo bar, and you need at least three levels to do your character's like ultimate hyper combo. But if you have more than three, you can do a crossover combination, which is pretty much you plus your two other partners come together for a super mega attack. Here, I'll show you. Now see? How many levels did that take? Okay, it took three levels of the hyper combo bar. Now see, you need at least three bars to do that, but basically what it does is it brings out both your partners and you plus them together do a super combo, a super hyper combo that pretty much kicks the crap out of your opponent. All right now, I have to make this guy do shit so I can show you this hyper combo. Okay, see? Set it to CPU, very easy. Now, Amaterasu is deciding to move and attack me. See, he attacked me, but I'm in training mode, so it doesn't really matter, so I don't get hurt. Okay, now, the combo I want to show you for Deadpool, which is, in my opinion, the coolest hyper combo in the game, is... Uh, it's called... What is it called? Um, command list, Deadpool... Okay, it's called Fourth Wall Crisis, which is a level 3 hyper combo, which means it needs at least three levels of the hyper combo bar in order to, you know, do the move. Now, if you can see on the screen, if you can see on the screen, it says, it shows the input for it, which is forward, down, and then down forward plus any two attack buttons. So let's do it right now. So as you can see, Amaterasu is after me and she's attacking me. How dare you do an air combo on me? So pretty much, watch. Attack me, attack me. Yes! Okay, here it is. Uh, that's, such, that's such an awesome move. Okay, so... Pretty much what that move did was... It's a counter hyper combo, which means in order for it to successfully be pulled off, your partner... No, your opponent has to hit you while you're doing it. So while Deadpool was in that creepy pink aura stage, while he was doing that, Amaterasu had to hit me for the move to be done. Otherwise, he'd just be walking across the screen like a gay guy. Anyway, so pretty much what that did was he stunned, he stunned his opponent with a flash grenade, he jumped to the top of the screen, ripped the health bar off the screen, whacked Amaterasu in the face with it, then he went down to the bottom of the screen, pulled off the hyper combo bar, and smacked Amaterasu into the air like a baseball. And when he did that, it produced an explosive effect. In my, in my opinion, that's the coolest hyper combo in the game. Not because of its strength or its ability to combo into other moves, but just because of how awesome it is, like, he rips the frickin' bars off the screen and beats the, beats his opponents with them. It's awesome. Uh, here. Just, I'll show you again. Now remember. Oh, you bastard. Okay, so remember. In order to pull off this move, you have to have at least, whoa, what the hell? Alrighty, huh. X-Factor time. In order to do that move, the fourth wall crisis, you have to have at least three levels of the hypo combo bar. So I will do it again. If I here we can. Hit me! Oh you bastard! Ah. Oh. Okay, try it again. Hit me. Okay, here it is again. Alrighty. And that's all I wanted to show you. I just wanted to show you Deadpool's super awesome breaking the fourth wall move that, in my opinion, is the coolest hyper combo in Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Now what I want you to do is I want you to comment down below this video and tell me, do you like this style of video? Do you like me giving, like, gameplay? I don't know.
know what to call it. It's not really a tutorial. It kind of is because I kind of explained what the hyper combo system in Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is, but all I really wanted to show you was that move. So do you like this style of video? Just showing, just me showing you raw gameplay of stuff that I think is cool in games? Let me know down below in the comments. Okay guys, this is Shane of Simpsons 29 Productions. Sorry if the video was a little hard to see. This TV isn't really that great for recording. But I'll catch you guys later. Deadpool's freaking awesome, by the way.